Hi, beautiful souls. This is Marie Miller with House of Kellen, also known as a spiritual geek. And today, this is, you know, day 13, we are talking about agape and unconditional love and how we can bring more of that into our life. Yesterday, we talked about our definition of love, and hopefully you did some good releases, some good journaling, and were able to really step into a more aligned definition of what love can be. But agape or unconditional love, this is a different one. This is the love that you have for humanity. And the way I like to phrase it, and the way that I, I love to express it is, oh my gosh, I love you because you exist. You're a human. I see you. I see the spark of God in you. And I know that you're magical. Now, what we have to do, especially coming off of yesterday's topic, is talk about tolerance and acceptance and the kindness that we need, right? And so we say tolerance. We just wanted to find tolerance for everyone. Tolerance does not mean you get to do whatever you want. I'm going to be okay with it because I love you unconditionally, right? It doesn't mean, okay, like we agree, we disagree on everything. So I'm just going to tolerate your opinions, even when they're harmful. It is not the creator's definition of having unconditional love for someone. It does not mean that you allow them to hurt you. Right? There's a lot of people when they hear unconditional love, they get a little scared, right? It's like you can't love the world unconditionally that they're going to hurt me because we don't understand that we're still allowed to have boundaries, right? We're still allowed to demonstrate and tell people how we're allowed to be treated because that is having unconditional love for ourselves and being kind to ourselves, right? There is nowhere that says that just because you allow you love someone conditionally that they get to step all over you, but that's unfortunately what some people think the idea is. So when it comes to living in this politically charged world, like how do we bring more unconditional love in, and how do we demonstrate that, and how do we fight for what we believe is right and fight for the changes we want to see, right, from a place of unconditional love, right? Unconditional love doesn't mean that you have to stop being a social justice warrior. It just may change how you approach it, right? So when you have tolerance and when you have acceptance for someone and you're like, okay, I can accept you as a human being, but here's your, the ideas that I disagree with. One of the things that I first learned how to, to do when a lot of things are coming up politically and I was getting really, really triggered um, and very angry about a lot of things is I actually took the time to take a few deep breaths and to spend time actually really listening to what the other side was saying. Right, not to indoctrinate myself, but to, to be listening for, so what is beneath this? What are the real beliefs? What are the fears? What are the things that they're really saying beneath all of this rhetoric? What is, you know, what is the core belief? And so when I decide to go into political debate, because I do like to have discussions, you know, one-on-one -on -one with different people, I'm always listening for what are the fears, what are the beliefs, what are the things we have in common and below all of this? Because one of the things that's been coming up a lot the last couple of years is like for different reasons or another on different levels, the fear that we have in common is the fear of losing our freedoms. Now, for some people, that's just a perceived loss of freedoms. Those of us who've um, had privilege this whole time are getting triggered because we're perceiving that we're losing our freedoms to the people who really haven't had freedoms, right? But it's the same, it's the same thing that we're working through. And that's one of the ways that I've learned how to have unconditional love with people that I heartily disagree with, right? Is to recognize, okay, we have some of the same fears. How do we all work through those fears together without blaming each other, right? Um, there's something that be honest with that I really agree with, which is that when, you know, when we're in a session, when we're in a class, Right, that we can love and accept people. When we're outside of class, maybe we might disagree, but when we come together for those moments, and that's really one of the things about unconditional love is finding the ways that you can come together. Now, as I say this, I still want you to go out and have your boundaries, right? You can have unconditional love for someone and say, it's not acceptable for you to behave that way in my classroom, in my community, in my home, or in this relationship. Right? Because when you're saying that, you're demonstrating unconditional love for yourself also. 
I just want you to really know that setting a boundary does not mean that you no longer love the person. A lot of people think of boundaries and saying no. Uh, as saying no, that when you're saying a, that when you're setting a boundary, it's a rejection, it's a harsh thing, as opposed to boundaries just being these agreements we make so everyone can live happier. Because unconditional love is not mean agree that you agree with everything someone does or all of their behaviors. It just means that you can see the spark of God in them and recognize that they have potential. And for some of you, you may not be here yet, and that's okay. Some of you still need to be setting really hard boundaries and pushing back, right? So everyone's at their own spot in development around this. And that's totally fine. But we're gonna give you some downloads today to help you work through this and then some writing. And to accept the downloads, all you do is say yes, your conscious and your subconscious mind accept them, accepts them. So do you want the creator's perspective and definition of unconditional love? Do you wanna know what it feels like to set boundaries from a place of love? That you can have love and respect for yourself and still set the boundaries that you need to keep yourself safe. Do you also wanna know that you're allowed to set boundaries even when you love someone? And you want to know what it feels like to be respected in this planet, and to be respected in everything that you do. And you want to know what it feels like to feel safe, and that you know how to feel safe and give unconditional love to people. If you want again, if you want these downloads, just say yes. All right, beautiful souls. So I hope some of this got your mind going in a, in a few different ways sort of thinking about how do you have a deeper love for humanity even when you disagree with them, right? I have several clients that I work with that yes, if we were to be in a political debate, we'd be on the other side, but we're able to put that aside and be humans while we're in the session and just be, right? Because we're all looking to change the world in different ways. And I really, really want you to know that you are allowed to draw boundaries. You can be in this place of unconditional love and still say, I disagree with you. But when you're coming from this, this love of humanity, from this place of love, it's more likely that when you say, I'm sorry, but I disagree with you, it's a lot more likely that it's going to be heard by the other person. Because like I said before, if we're all just shouting, if we're all yelling, nobody's really listening. And sometimes a softer approach is going to be the correct one. And sometimes unconditional love means making some signs and marching and fighting what you believe, what you believe in. But you need to do that without always putting down the other people. So your journaling today is really to think about, you know, what kind of boundaries do you need to be safe, right? What kind of environment do you need to be in so that you can nurture more of your unconditional love, right? And what do you feel a boundary is? Do you feel that a boundary is a good or a bad thing? If you feel that boundaries are this horrible meaning thing and you feel bad about setting them, there may be some work you wanna do because boundaries aren't good or bad. Right, they're just, they're just rules. They're just places that you follow so you can feel respected. All right, well, I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you have some good insights from today's writing and we'll come back tomorrow to talk about self-love. <laughs>